The National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDEC, has given approval for the use of the R21 malaria vaccine produced by the Serum Institute of India. This comes a few days after Ghana also approved the malaria vaccine, making Nigeria the second country in the world to do so. Our ICE correspondent, Ebi Yomo, has more. Nigeria has become the second country in the world to approve the R21 malaria vaccine after Ghana, following the approval of the vaccine by the Director General of National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, Professor Mojisola Adeyeye. The abduct in exercising its mandate is stipulated by its enabling law from end 1, 2004 to grant registration approval and is granting registration approval for R21 malaria vaccine recombinant biodivided that was manufactured by Ciro Institute of India and the market authorization order in Nigeria is fixing healthcare limited. The R21 malaria vaccine is an adjuvanted protein vaccine presented as a sterile solution. Nada says the vaccine is majorly for the prevention of clinical malaria in children within the age of 5 to 36 months. The agency also revealed that the country expects to get at least 100,000 doses of the new vaccine in donations before the market authorization makes other arrangements, particularly with the National Primary Health Care Development Agency. The storage temperature of the vaccine is 2 to 8 degrees centigrade. NAVDA has several pathways for registration of vaccines. These pathways are in line with the agency's guideline for registration of important drugs, vaccines, and uh, medical devices under collaborative registration procedure or the agency's guideline for registration of important drugs and vaccines. She restated NAVDAC's commitment to ensuring that only products that are safe of high quality and efficacy are made available for Nigerians. The R21 Matrix M vaccine is the second ever to be approved by the WHO and the first to exceed the WHO threshold of 75% efficacy over 12 months of follow-up. The vaccine showed a 77% protective efficacy over 12 months in a phase 2B trial involving young West African children following an initial three-dose course of injections. A.B. Iyomo, Arise News. We're joined now by the Director General of NAFDAQ, Professor Mujisola Ade. Uh, good to see you and thanks for your time. And uh, well, quickly here, this uh, is one good news. First of all, we mm -hmm. thought Nigeria had missed uh, the second opportunity for that window trial. But here we are. It's upon us. How good is this vaccine uh, for malaria? Thank you so much uh, for having me. Uh, it has been a long waiting for a malaria vaccine that has high efficacy. The efficacy of this vaccine is 75%. Therefore, it is good. And uh, we just didn't come to that conclusion uh, just like that. Uh, the process, the approval process went through very rigorous uh, uh, dynamics, so to say. We had uh, an external uh, reviewer committee, or review committee rather, uh, from four different universities. Uh, these are known researchers in the uh, area of uh, malaria science, uh, full professors, well published. Uh, and this review of theirs was done independently from that of NAVDAQ. We have a standing NAVDAQ vaccine committee. But because this uh, vaccine is a new molecule, it is new, it has not been approved by any country aside from Ghana. Uh, we took our time to make sure that the review is very rigorous. And uh, the joint committee met last week, Friday, and uh, both are on the same page in terms of 
the adequacy of uh, the vaccine uh, for immunization of children uh, under uh, 36 months. Right. Okay. Now let's uh, even talk about the factors that were considered in approving uh, this malaria vaccine. I mean, you say it went through very uh, thorough uh, process. Uh, talk to us uh, about that and the, you know, the temperature under which this uh, vaccine must be stored somewhere between two and eight degrees Celsius. How challenging will it be for Nigeria with uh, you know, really hot weather here. Thank, thank you very much. That is just a, a refrigerator temperature. So it is not a, a, a big uh, challenge for us in the country. Uh, it is a refrigerator temperature and uh, we, it's going to do fine. Uh, we were able to manage COVID-19 vaccine uh, some of them were minus 60, minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So for this one, it's not a problem at all uh, in terms of the storage condition. Uh, the good thing about uh, us, meaning NAVDAC approving this product, is that we've learned a lot during the pandemic in terms of ensuring that the safety of the vaccine will be highly monitored. Our staff got trained very well. Primary health staff also got trained very well, along with our staff, by uh, the AU3S, African Union Smart Safety Surveillance. So we are very well prepared in terms of safety monitoring. One unique aspect of our regulatory activities that will also help is the ability to track and trace uh, this vaccine uh, we will know who is getting what vaccine and how safe or uh, what type of side effects because there's no way that you will not have side effects uh, it is just that the benefits highly outweigh uh, the risks so the, the process of course of review is very rigorous and so will it be uh, for the safety uh, monitoring. Uh, because this vaccine has not been tested in our population, it has been tested in five countries in Africa. Uh, but it, because it has not been tested in our population, we're going to do uh, a clinical trial, what we call phase four, uh, pharmacovigilance uh, cohort event. Well, we're out of time here, Professor Adeyeye. Quickly, let okay. me bring in this. Uh, how do you hope uh, to uh, fight the or address the challenge of vaccine hesitancy, especially in Nigeria, since after the 1996 uh, very unfortunate Pfizer vaccine trial? Thank you. That's a good question. Uh, we're going to go on the road. We're going to do a lot of sensitization, uh, primary health and NAVDAC, uh, because this is a pediatric uh, vaccine. Therefore, we will have to get to the communities, to the families, uh, through churches, through mosques, to convince them that this vaccine is good and it's going to be good for our population. Very quickly, before we let you go, I mean, <laughs> we've already been asked, what about for adults? I mean, it looks like this uh, vaccine is for uh, babies, just like you said, between five months and 36 months. Any hope for a vaccine for adults? Knock on wood. Knock on wood is going to come. <laughs> <laughs> Serum Institute of India is one of the best in the world. They make more than 50% of the of a global vaccine supply. And I will not be surprised if that is already in the works. But it will be great for us to have adults uh, vaccine for malaria. Absolutely. Uh, thank you so much, the Director General of NAVDAC. Of course, Nigeria thank just approved the Oxford malaria vaccine. Mujisola Adeyeye, thank you so much for joining us on Newsnight.